Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about a third type of transformation called a rotation, specifically when we are rotating around the origin. So let's start with the definition. A rotation is a turn around a fixed point called the center of rotation. So they always have to tell you where the center is going to be. So the figure is going to rotate at a specific angle and direction. So for today, we're only going to talk about rotations that go around the origin, like the title suggests, so around the middle of your graph. And we're only going to be going counterclockwise. So counterclockwise means that we're going to be turning to the left. So let's look at the three types of rotations. So first off, let's start with 90 degrees counterclockwise. So if you look at the figure, A was here and here's A prime. So it rotated this direction 90 degrees. So the rule for when you're rotating 90 degrees is your normal point xy, so that would be your pre-image, goes to negative y, positive x. So what you're going to do is switch places of the x and y and change the sign of the y value. Okay, the next one, when you're going 180, Notice how I didn't put a direction on this one because no matter which direction you go, 180 degrees will always be the same. So here's A, here's A prime. So see how it went? The turn was a bigger turn. Okay, so for this one, the rule is if your pre-image is XY, your image is going to be negative X, negative Y. So in this case, you don't have to switch anything. All you're doing is changing the signs. And then the third rotation is 270 degrees. So here's A, here's A prime. You're going almost all the way around, so even bigger turn. Your pre-image is XY, then your image would turn into Y negative X. So you'll notice that the rotations that we're talking about are all multiples of 90. It's because each quadrant in the graph is 90 degrees. So basically, it's telling you how many quadrants we're rotating it around. So let's look at three examples. We're going to do one example of each degree. Okay, so the first one says, rotate the figure 90 degrees counterclockwise. So 90 degrees counterclockwise. Give the coordinates of the image. So looking at my notes from above, for 90 degrees, we're going to change it to negative y comma x. So I'm just going to write the rule here so I don't forget it. Negative y comma x. So I'm going to change each point from the pre-image to the new point in the image. Okay, so negative 2 comma 3 is going to turn into negative 3, negative 2. Notice how the 3 that was in the y spot is now the first number. So see that? But we had to make it negative. So since here it was positive, now it's negative. The x value was already negative, so we're going to leave it that way. Okay, the next point, we're going to do the same thing. So 0, comma, negative 2. And the third point for C prime, negative 2, negative 4. So now that I have all three points, I want to graph it in the graph above. So A prime, negative 3, negative 2. B prime is 0, negative 2. And C prime is negative 2, negative 4. 
Then we connect our points. And there is our triangle. And notice how you can see it turning. So for example, here's A and then here's A prime. See how you can tell that it's a 90 degree turn and it's to the left, it's counterclockwise. Okay, now let's look at the second one. It says rotate the figure 180 degrees counterclockwise and give the coordinates of the image. So 180 degrees. So from our notes above, we're gonna follow that rule. All we have to do is x, y turns into negative x, negative y. So we're not switching anything. All we're doing is changing the sign. So negative two, positive three is gonna turn into positive two, negative three. Next one is gonna be positive two, negative zero, but there's no such thing, so just zero. And the last one is positive four, negative two. So let's go up here and draw our figure. So two, negative three. is our a prime two zero is our b prime and four negative two is our c prime so connect our points and there's our image and again i always like to kind of double check and look at the letters to make sure it did what i needed it to do so here's a and here's a prime it made a rotation 180 degrees. Okay, and the third example, rotate the figure 270 degrees counterclockwise. Give the coordinates of the image. So I'm gonna go back to my notes up here. For 270, they switch places and the X value is negative. So the rule is x, y goes to y negative x. So this one would turn into 3 comma 2. So notice here how we switch places. The 3 was the second number, but it's now the first number. Negative 2 was the first number, but now it's the second number. But because of this negative, a negative negative turns it to positive. B prime should be at 0, 2. And C prime should be at 2, comma 4. So let's draw our picture. That is our A prime. 0, 2. Here is our B prime, and two, four, our C prime. And then if I look at it, here's A and here's A prime. So this time I went all the way around to do 270. Hey guys, so with rotations, these are honestly out of the transformations that we're doing. These are probably the hardest ones to do because they're the hardest to picture in your mind. That's why I would rather just stick with these rules. These rules are super important to remember. If you don't think you can remember them, make sure you have them written down somewhere because I am assigning a few problems for you guys to do over rotations. If you have any questions, you can email me or send me a comment through Google Classroom.